What's on, everyone? Jim here from The Quartering, and in a bit of uh, interesting, very interesting um, <laughs> karma, Media Matters has now started collapsing. Media Matters is essentially a bully organization that uses a whisper network of um, powerful people to uh, use censorship uh, via, you know, labeling people as all sorts of anti this or phobic that or, you know, is essentially a company that, you know, that has lied with impunity for years. And, uh, well, it looks like there's a bit of comeuppance just to get to you, you know, where we are now. It wasn't that long ago when Elon Musk obviously purchased X or Twitter. And he then found out down the line that the folks over at Media Matters were coordinating with people behind the scenes to demonetize, to bully people off mon um, advertising on the platform. Um, I don't know what the exact legal term for it, but it's illegal. I don't know, but it's illegal. So Elon Musk ends up suing Media Matters over its report on ads next to, quote, hate group posts. This is what they would do. They would say, hey, um, Coca-Cola, I see you advertise with Twitter. Um, we found an ad for your product next to a post saying something terrible about a group of people, a protected class. Any thoughts? And what happens is people just leave the platform. Um, this is what happened essentially, you know, during the Vox apocalypse back in the day. People would, you know, these organizations would contact companies that have, uh, you know, um, uh, advertising dollars on YouTube, and they would say, oh, man, that's Steven Crowder. And, poof, you know, I saw your ad ran on his video. You know, you, you must support everything he says. And so they leave the platform. So, of course, Elon Musk filed a lawsuit against a liberal advocacy group, Media Matters for America, on Monday. This is back in November, saying it had manufactured a report to show advertisers post alongside um, the bad guys from WW2 and nationalist posts in order to drive advertisers from the platform and destroy X Corp. Media Matters, a Washington, D.C. nonprofit, yeah, right, called the lawsuit frivolous. Advertisers had been fleeing the site, formerly known as Twitter, over concerns about their ads showing up about uh, next to spicy content and hate speech on the site in general, while billionaire owner Musk has inflamed tensions with his own posts endorsing anti Semitism. Um, and various conspiracy theories. Again, this is what Media Matters does, right? They would go, they turn out X's complaint claims that Media Matters manipulated algorithms on the platform to create images of advertisers, paid posts next to incendiary content. The juxtapositions, according to the complaint, were manufactured, inorganic, and extraordinarily rare. Well, that's what they did during the Vox Apocalypse, right? They would go to, say, uh, something... Um, they would go to like coca-cola.com, right? And then they would go straight to some like actual racist person's website. And because that website had, um, you know, ad, Google AdSense and Coca-Cola had cookied you, the ad appeared on that website. It was all fake and manufactured. So they came and then they went, oh, Coca-Cola. Like I was running ads for some of the biggest cable companies in the nation when that happened. And we had people from the paper emailing us being like, Oh, your ad appeared on this uh, this guy who wears a hood at night, you know, on his website. Any comment? I'm like, well, that's not how cookies work. Uh, they were cookied. Obviously, we didn't target that website. They came to me and they were like, Jeremy, are we running ads on so and so's website or this website or that website? I used to run all the ads. I was like, no, I don't target that. It's like a website they get zero traffic. And then what Fortune 500 companies do, right? Even though I had a perfect explanation for it, they said, ah, let's just turn off all of our YouTube advertising. Let's turn off all of our um, uh, content network advertising, essentially all ads on personally operated websites. That's what they chose to do. Um, even though it costs the company, you know, ex extreme amounts of money, they didn't care because they were worried about the article that was going to come out of the New York times and say that, Hey, the, your ads appeared next to, uh, this evil person's website or, um, so you must be paying them money. You must endorse what they're saying, even though that's not how any of it worked. That's really not how public perception works either, is it? Like you end up in a scenario where uh, perception becomes reality. They rely on that so they can bully advertisers off your platform. It's a way for them to get you to, as they might say, play ball. 
it's a way for them to get you to bend the knee is that they'll say, hey, we're going to take away all your advertising dollars. We're going to, uh, you know, screw you over. And it worked. It worked for many, many years. The Vox Apocalypse was real. Um, people did, in fact, leave Twitter, which is the damages that Elon Musk was able to, you know, make a part of the lawsuit. Right. So mo so much around like slander or defamation lawsuits. It's easy to say, hey, this person slandered me or defamed me. It's much more difficult to prove that it actually had financial damage. In Elon Musk's case, it wasn't. And now he was able, you know, he had the financial means, which is obviously a big um, deterrent for a lot of people. But now once he goes to court, he'll go to discovery and he'll look for those emails. And I assume he will find them where they are doing this exact thing. Basically setting up inorganic scenarios to scare companies into leaving Twitter because they really care about hate speech. Well, fast forward six months, Media Matters lays off a dozen staffers following federal probe and lawsuit from Elon Musk. What a coincidence. Media Matters followed suit with several uh, liberal, I'm sorry, followed suit with several liberal outlets by laying off at least a dozen staffers following a federal probe and lawsuit by ex-chief executive officer Elon Musk. Staffers, some of whom have been with Media Matters for years, took to social media announcing their sudden departure from the outlet. Good. They, they add nothing to society. They don't protect anybody. They are literal cockroaches. Musk filed the defamation lawsuit against Media Matters in federal court in November, and the site is accused, and it's accused the site of knowingly uh, perpetrate knowingly manufacturing images showing advertisements from major corporations alongside posts made from like actual evil people. Here's Cat Abu. I'm sure everyone's just real sad for him. Bad news. I've been laid off from Media Matters along with a dozen colleagues. There is a law, there, there's a reason far right billionaires, so they're saying Elon Musk, attack Media Matters with armies of lawyers. They know how effective our work is, and it terrifies them. Um, yeah, it is effective. I, I, I'm not going to argue it isn't effective. It absolutely 100% is effective. The, because you go to these like CEOs and C-level executives, and you're like, you're not a, you're not a racist, are you? You wouldn't want to. You're not, you're not one of these people, are you? Of course you are, I'm not. Well, then why are you giving them money? Oh, well, I'll just stop. Right, like it's incredibly effective, but it's also incredibly illegal and incredibly underhanded. Of course, people in the comments, you know, how concerned are you about finding a new job given the dwindling amount of positions for the work you do and your inability to distinguish yourself from your competitors? It's never too late to learn to code. Yeah, it looks like you've learned a lot through this ordeal. I mean, just curious, how does a do dose of your own medicine taste? Oh, so sorry to hear this. Most, most everybody in the comments absolutely unequivocally ruthlessly dunking on this individual tiktoker cat abu who this person is is so happy that tucker carlson got fired so this person is a tiktoker apparently and celebrated tucker carlson getting fired oh and it looks like unfortunately for them now they've been fired and people are probably looking to celebrate that i mean this is how this stuff works the world has a way of getting exacting its revenge. You see, like uh, Ashley St. Clair, I got laid off because Elon Musk is scared of my job. What was your job? I watch a complaint about Fox News for a living. I watch literally in the bio. I watch Fox News so you don't have to. I, I mean, people could just not watch Fox News. Nobody actually needs Media Matters. Media Matters doesn't actually provide a service. They are a bully pulpit. They are an organization that is um, anti-free speech. They are a censorship organization. Um, there, there's nothing virtuous about what they do. They are losers, all of them. And the fact that a dozen of them got fired, not enough. After nearly four years of working at Media Matters, I got laid off, another staffer named Beatrice said. So if anyone's looking for researchers with video experience, drop me a line. What do you mean researchers? You mean people that allegedly fabricate evidence in order to push an, a, a narrative? I, you know, I have no doubt that these dorks will find work somewhere else. But you know what I like is like, hey, you need to update your Twitter bio now that you're unemployed and largely unemployable. Here's a helpful link. 
learn to weld. I mean, everybody's just nobody. I mean, I guess there are some people in the comments who are, you know, trying to be somewhat sympathetic. But, you know, ultimately, I don't know how much of this is related to the actual lawsuit. It's difficult to say because it's not like they've lost. Right. So I don't know if I can jump on the, oh, it's definitely this or definitely that thing. But what I can say is uh, funding is obviously drying up and their reach, their power is drying up. Things like community notes replace the need for Media Matters. And if you look at the amount of money that flows in and out of Media Matters every year, it would absolutely boggle your mind. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you leave a like on it and we'll talk to you again real soon.